Good morning, everyone. So it is Saturday, and I just had personal training a little while ago. I went home and changed, and now I'm going to go get coffee and then go to boxing. And today I'm going to film a, between today and tomorrow, I'm going to film an on day and an off day for carb cycling and demonstrate intermittent fasting and counting macros and kind of do an example of how I do my eating. I just wanted to take you guys along and I'm excited to see how this all goes. So yeah, let's do it. So I have my coffee and it is a venti iced coffee with sugar-free vanilla and soy milk. It doesn't, it's the only thing that I will have until I break my fast around noon today. So we are going to head to boxing. So very excited. This is like my favorite. Saturday morning classes are my favorite at this gym. So I will take you along with me. So boxing is done and over with. It was a very, very good workout and I'm friggin' sore as hell. And I'm so excited. I'm going to go to this new, I mean, I've been there a couple times before, but this restaurant called Nikki Green that's in Ithaca and it's vegan. And I'm going there with my friend Margo and I'm really excited because I really want to try one of their sweet bowls. Here we go for that. look so bad after a workout. I'm actually glad that I decided to go out for lunch because even though I had my macros all planned and I was going to show them to you, this is, I can show you how the best way to track your macros when you eat out. So this is, I look terrible. I don't know if I didn't try how bad this would be. But, so here we go, I'm gonna show you this. Okay, so I'm using my fitness pal on my computer because my phone is being obnoxious. So what I did is I went to the Nikki Green website and I found their menu, but what I ordered actually wasn't on their menu because it was like a special thing. So I went to their Instagram and found it there, which like, holy cow, look at that. They gave the ingredients here and then I'm going over here and adding them one by one and kind of estimating what I think was in there. And then I'm adjusting my macros for the rest of the day based on that input and here's the total down here. So kind of how we're going about this little shindig. So I'm going to make my dinner for later now because I have to babysit later and I want to be able to bring my food with me. I'm going to make chicken and kale with aged balsamic vinaigrette so. and also a protein shake because I'm going to go to the gym. Sunday. This video will obviously not be posted today, 
but today is the second day of this video and it is the low carb day of carb cycling. So yesterday did not really go as planned with that breakfast. I did not realize how high carb it was, um, but it's okay. We adjusted and it was, everything was fine. I am exhausted today and my morning readiness was a two. I'll explain more about that in another video, but my body is just like really needs some recovery time. So I'm going to go to the gym and do some active recovery with like light elliptical or walking and some yoga. So today is not going to be a heavy gym day, so it's a good day to show you an off day, or like a regular day. So I'm going to go to the gym and run some errands, and then we'll start eating around, probably start eating around like noon, 12.30, because I stopped eating around 7.30 last night, which made sense since I started eating at 11.30 yesterday morning. Thank you so much to everyone who's watching this video. I hope that you like it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up, and please make sure you are subscribed. I really appreciate all of the support. Without further ado, let's go. I am back from the gym and it is 11.50 so I'm going to start cooking lunch. Something I'd like to say that I love about intermittent fasting is that once you really train your body to only eat during certain hours of the day, you don't get hungry. Like I really am not even hungry yet, it's almost noon and I worked out. So it's something where a lot of people are like, I can't do that, I have to eat breakfast, I'm always starving in the morning. It is a process, you do have to kind of train your body to stop having those hunger cues. And I also get a lot more comfortable with the idea of hunger. Like it's, you get a lot more control over when you actually need to eat versus when you think you need to eat. And that's why intermittent fasting actually works very well with intuitive eating. Also, I have to point out this sweatshirt because I'm obsessed with it. It's from Gymshark, but look at the back. Look at that, it's so cute. So just a little fashion tip of the day. But okay, so here we go. It is Sunday night, or like, it's like 4 o'clock, and I'm getting ready to go to Christina's to watch the Super Bowl, so I'm going to eat really quick. I already had a protein shake and I didn't film it because it's the same thing as yesterday, except I actually had all of the almond milk. So, yeah, here we go with more dinner. It is the end of the day and I'm heading to Christina's to watch the Super Bowl and thank you to everyone for watching this video. I'm sorry that there might not have been as much in explaining in the process but I'm going to make another video, another video set that explains intermittent fasting, carb cycling, counting your macros, and all that fun stuff. So I'm pretty happy. I like going to fitness friends houses because you can just like stay in the same clothes that you worked out in four hours ago. It's fine. But I hope that everyone is doing well. I hope that the Super Bowl goes well for whichever team you're rooting for. And I will see you all next time. Bye!